Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Nick, and today we are building another house in The Sims 4. And this one is quite possibly the cutest little mid-century modern desert home I have ever built. I am obsessed with every single little detail about this build, and I hope that you are too. It has one bedroom and one and a half bathrooms and a home office. So there's a lot of space in this house. I think that you'll find that as well when you see me decorate the interior that all the rooms are really spacious. When I was building it, I was picturing it would be for a single successful woman who was pretty deep into her career. And that's why she has a home office and is really focused on entertaining. I don't think she has any kids. She may be dating or have a partner, but I think she lives alone. But the house is definitely big enough for another person if you wanted to make it for a couple. You could also expand it or convert the home office into another bedroom because there's a pretty big, um, extra bathroom right off the kitchen for guests with laundry so you can make that smaller and take out the laundry and make your life a lot easier and have a pretty big second bedroom as well but we're already inside the house and you can see the kitchen i play with the colors just a little bit but i love it so much i don't think i've really used this before i saw a picture on twitter of someone using either these or the other cabinets that came from the pack uh i think it's tiny living or dream home decorator one of those um <laughs> and i just wanted to use it as well it looked so great and i found this swatch that was just perfect and i loved it so much there's also so there's no really um dining room but there's this pretty big island and i imagine if you're just one person living here that's all you would need. There's also this extra seating area in the corner. It's like the living room almost um, that I think you could also easily sit down and eat your meal at. I don't think the person living in this house would be really focused on watching TV, but you'll see I'm about to add one in just a second and you can totally still watch it from the living area or the dining area. I figured it would be more used for like background noise when you were entertaining. You would just have like some music on and like a cool little YouTube video or something. I don't know. At least that's what I would do if I lived in this house. But I was able to use these shelving units that came in the same swatch as the kitchen. So the house just has this really cohesive kind of industrial look. I love the concrete floor. I think that's what it is. But I thought that it looked perfect because in houses in really hot climates, usually you would have like a tile floor. So I figured that would be really good to keep the house cooler. I actually left in decorating the bathrooms, which I normally wouldn't do, but I just thought that these were so cute that I wanted you to see them. So this has a little laundry area and there's a sink there's a toilet as well. I don't think there's a tub or anything in this one, so you can't actually um, count it as like a full bathroom, but it is really cute regardless. I, yeah, I'm putting in the toilet now. One thing I've started doing is adding these little um, garbage cans in the bathroom. I think it makes it super realistic and would be great for guests. I add this really nice hanging plant, which I usually don't include but i think it was just a really nice addition and i have that fake laundry basket and then the real laundry basket which i've heard having that next to the washer and dryer in the game makes it easier so i try and do that whenever possible now i'm working on the home office and i love these windows they have that little jet out so it creates this really nice shape on the outside and on the inside and i actually put some little objects on there. I think there's like a crystal ball, which just seems like a nice little touch and maybe some books. One thing I've been doing is picking bigger curtains and then sizing them down to fit the windows. And I think that that's a perfect little trick to 
use other curtains that you might not normally be able to. But this house doesn't use any custom content. I should have mentioned that sooner. But you're able to download it on The Sims 4 Gallery if you just search my user ID, Nicholas Game, then it will be there for you. And if you don't have any of the packs that I used, that's okay. The game will just either replace the object with something that you do have or just take it out and you can decorate it in your own fun way. And if you do that, I would love to see that. So put it back on the gallery and tag me or tweet me or, you know, just comment that you did that. And that would be really sick. I would love to see that. We're already working on the master bedroom and we're into the bathroom. So we're about to be done. I hope you really enjoyed this one. I had so much fun with it. This bathroom is just amazing. It's everything in this house is big and great. I just really, really great house. Kind of reminded me of older Sims games too, at least the outside. But we're about to head into screenshots. So thank you for watching guys. See ya.